Well, hello everyone! Today on the Blockheads Create, we are going to be doing some auto mining. We're going to be getting a present for Despot, and I'm going to finally outfit myself with some decent armor. I need to extend this stair all the way to the bottom of the world. Oh, looky! Looky what I finds! I finds the diamonds! I finds the redstone! Ooh, me finds more diamonds! Okay, and we've hit bedrock. That's good. You know why it's good? Because now we can deploy... Ooh! We can deploy... The miner! Well, soon. I actually need to dig a tunnel, uh, so that I can place the minecart rails, and then deploy the tunnel. <laughs> Okay, do you guys know what time it is? It's time to deploy the minecart contraption. If you are not familiar with what we were doing last episode, then this is going to be completely uh, like what is going on to you. But if you were here, then you know that this is the same minecart contraption that we used last time. And we're just going to go ahead and give it a little push. Create mod allows us to do auto mining in case you didn't know that. And here it goes. And look at it go. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. Oh, I love it. Oh, I think I might have forgotten to put on some kind of a chest onto this thing. That would be super helpful. Okay, the minecart has finished its run, but here's the problem. I don't have... I don't have my wrench. Man, I'm getting a lot of steps on my Fitbit. I'm running all over the place. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pick the thing up and... Boom! It's picked up. Oh, wow, look. More diamonds. Sweet. I wonder what I got. And... Does that mean that I didn't get any of the items that I just picked up? Or how does this work? First diamond pick of the season! Oh, like for reals? It had a chest on the front of it. I forgot. Why did I put the chest on the front? That's weird. Wow, that's a lot of materials. But very few diamonds, which is interesting. Like, could you imagine doing this in the nether and finding netherite? This is gonna be something, man. Okay, we're gonna do another row. I moved the minecart rail over. Look at it go. Look at it go. You can see the drills working and you can see how this thing is functioning. Oh wow, that time I got nine diamonds and like two stacks of redstone, 15 lapis, and some raw zinc. That was a big one. Okay, well, I'm going to say that that is successful and I'm going to go mine in a different location because I'm not getting any iron and I feel like I need some iron for some stuff. So uh, I know I have diamonds, so I don't really need it for tools as much as I did, but I do need it for like other things. Anyway, I just want to mine away from my base so that I don't like mess anything up that I might want to do in the future at my base. This is really fascinating to me for some reason. You can get a little bit of nether quartz by doing the gold, I think. Okay, out of that whole process, I got 38 gold ingots. I know for a fact that I did not get 38 gold ore. So that's pretty cool that it's giving me back more than I asked for, than I actually mined. So that's really good. Okay, I think... Um, I'm gonna go here just straight ahead and dig down. My island is to the left of us here. So this mass of trees and stuff is my island. And this right here is where I could kind of go down perhaps in mine at level 16. And it would be kind of fun to build like a bridge across here at some point. All right, we must be getting closer to level 16 because I just got some iron. Now we're talking 18 raw iron. Yay. That's big time. Okay, so out of that mining session, we got a stack and change of some raw iron. That's really nice. A bit of zinc. I could have gotten some more, but I decided not to mine it out at this time because I have quite a bit of the zinc ingots at the moment. Um, I will probably be mining it out later. And then we... I just found some more iron. Look at this. Ha <laughs> And then um, I got a large amount of andesite. I also remembered that you can turn diorite and cobblestone into andesite, which is super helpful. So this next thing that we're going to be doing is uh, Desbit's been on the server. You can see he just went to sleep there. Sweet dreams, Desbit. He's been on the server making the villager breeding hall thingy mabob. Is Desbit also does not know about something that I know about in Create Mod. I happened to come across it while doing some research, and I don't think he knows about this. He might. He's a pretty smart dude, so he probably knows. 
But uh, either way, uh, we're going to do the legwork and surprise him with a little gift. Hey, let's do some ore processing first. An 18 something. We took a little trip. Down the mighty Mississippi. I don't know how that song goes. Well, this is an interesting geological feature. Look, a bee! This journey has been much more difficult than I thought. I've had to, like, navigate uh, around caves and... Oh, man. It's been kind of tricky, but we're here safely and uh, almost there. What are you even doing in here? Okay, the object of our search has been this skeleton spawner. Now, I just found out, I just double checked to see like how to do this, and I found out that it might not be possible to do what I'm trying to do here. So we're gonna see. Um, there's a gameplay setting in Create that um, apparently makes it so that mob spawners are either uh, movable, unmovable, or what's called no pickup. And I have no idea what no pickup means. Anywho, what we need to do is get out our powered rail and our uh, that and our this. And then we're gonna stick down the powered rail and then our minecart contraption, which actually I didn't need to make. Uh, let's see, V. Wait, where, where's V? No, B. There we go. Okay, minecart. Let's see, this is the skeleton spawner one. And then if I place that there, okay, we're facing the right direction. And then if I place this on top of that, that should have done it. And then let's see if I turn this on. Right? Well, I think it, I think it grabbed it. Oh my gosh, it grabbed it. Okay, so now all I have to do is do this and this, and I think... Let's see, so this is the part that I'm not sure if it's going to work, because I might have to, like, run minecart rail all the way to where I want it. Uh, it's going to be a pain. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, a mystical force is binding this to the world. So I can't actually pick up the thing. So that's what no pickup means. All right. So now we figured that out. Um, okay. So now all we have to do is uh, run a rail all the way to the surface <laughs> and get this stupid thing up there. <laughs> so ordinarily I'd be able to change the setting, but I don't have access to this, like the server controls and stuff. So um, only the server owner or whatever can change this particular setting. So I came all the way to where I'm bringing um, Desbit's gift and look at all that he's done here. Wow, this is amazing. This cave I broke into is one of the places I was considering building some stuff, but I decided against it because I just did. It's an awesome cave though. I love all these like open to the sky elements inside of here, it's so cool. This is like one of the most awesome caves I've ever seen. But, uh, yeah, unf oh, oh, <laughs> forgot about this whole thing. Um, but unfortunately, I decided against going here just because I'm already doing a cave in my other, in the regular world. Okay, we've got the whole, whoa, 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 Nelson. If that was a creeper, that would have been really bad. And all I have to do now is just put a block behind here. Turn this on and this thing should go all the way to the top. And boom. Go on, buddy. See you later. Well, this is proving to be unnecessarily difficult, but it's working. All right, here it goes. Okay, there it goes. There we are. Come on, get some speed. Get some speed. There it goes. There it goes. I think it probably was a bad idea for Desmond to have put um, the...
Okay, we have installed the uh, the skeleton spawner, and we're already getting skeletons, which is kind of cool. Okay, since that thing is installed, what I've done is I got went ahead and I made some uh, some stuff. I've got some decent armor here. All of it has mending on it, so that's going to be super helpful. I got a couple of good picks, and also, um, yeah, a bow and some other stuff. So that's pretty cool. And I think that that's going to be the end of this one because we've got quite a bit accomplished. And I'm super happy. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. I hope you've enjoyed this episode here on Blockheads Create. And I hope you're having an awesome, beautiful, fantastic, wonderful, stupendous day. And God bless.